Well, I thought I'd make a video follow-up to the 8100B Fluke Nixie Tube Multimeter. And here you can see it's uh, it's working. And I'm just feeding it a signal from this old BK Precision function generator here. Just looping that uh, positive and negative slowly. And right now, powering it right here, we're uh, powering it off the, right here, off these two leads is the battery attachment. And I've got that connected to this old Lambda power supply. You can see it's pulling about oh, 115 or so milliamps, 24-ish volts. And this green jumper is just re-jumpering R5, which you remove for diagnostics. The problems that we had included this transistor, the main power transistor. That guy had failed. The Q4 and Q5 right in here had failed as well. You can see my beautiful soldering job there. As well as uh, the last one to fix was Q6 back here. And I think a lot of that failure stemmed from failure of old electrolytics, which I replaced uh, all over here. Sadly, with some nice cheap Chinese electrolytics, I need to order some good parts from Mouser to fix that up. But we get all good voltage readings uh, on all the rails, and... Uh, we're able to get uh, pretty accurate readings from the meter. It compares pretty decently to this Fluke 87 or any of my other Fluke stuff over there. Um, but i um, pretty happy with it. I think it's gorgeous. It's going to make a really nice addition to the bench. And now there's something interesting. Occasionally there, it snaps to integral values, like to whole volts. I'm not quite sure what that is. I don't know if the frequency generator just happens to be getting into a particular, uh, you know, in sync with the integrator that's reading the voltage inside the fluke meter or what. Because if I hook this guy up instead of to the function generator, if I hook it up to the output here of this lambda, hang on, let's get this uh, plugged in first. I hook that up to the output here, it ramps very smoothly through all the voltages as I turn this down. And it never has that issue where it stops. So I think the function generator is probably just confusing it. Maybe it's not such a great idea to be feeding a sine wave into this thing over and over, but I thought it would be a decent way to warm it up and show some uh, pretty numbers. So there you go. Look at that lambda. I actually get it to go negative. Well, that's because I've got these two supplies here uh, hooked positive and negative tracking for op amps. So at any rate, there you go. Nixie tube fluke voltmeter. 8100. Lost the little uh, Fluke logo, unfortunately, didn't come with it when I got this off eBay. But uh, if you want some, there's more on eBay. Have fun.